There was a little boy lost in a maiden world. This was enough to set off warning flags to all the Eldar present. They were more afraid of what would happen if a Mon Kai was left to their own devices. Especially in this precious world. However, those warnings seem not to extend to two particularly sexually repressed specimens. A howling banshee exarch and a farseer. The boy was still crying when the farseer first arrives. Her nose takes in that savage scent of an unrefined human. Her eyes go wide. This was unmistakably a male. Eldor or not, that meant he could mate, even to a train mind. The fires of arousal were difficult to smother once lit. She removed her helm. Her pale brown tresses fell free from the wraith bone cage. She approached the boy with a maternal smile on her face. Ah, ah, ah. She comments. Despite her appearance of a young mother, her voice sounded like an older sister. What the truth is a boy like you doing here? The boy sniffled and realized he had company. This... I... I it was my mommy. His eyes were red from crying the whole time. An effect with profound impact upon the Farseer's keen mental perception. She didn't just sense his loneliness. She could feel it. Get wrapped up in his immature emotions like a blanket too big for her. She smiles. Don't worry now. Your big sis is here to help you. The smile was enough to disarm the young mind. Ooh, stops crying. My name is Bellamia. What's yours? M my name is Sam. The young boy was growing more comfortable with her by the second. This was not by some chance. Bellamere was using her mind to slowly erode his mental resistance, influencing his thoughts to be more friendly towards her. Well now, Sam. Her deft hands wrapped themselves around his chin. I'm sure your mother wouldn't want to know that her little boy cried. Now, would she? The defenseless boy nods. Now why don't you let your big sister Bellamere take care of you, hmm? Before the boy even agrees, the Farsi is already tracing her hands over his torso, feeling the underdeveloped muscle enticing the supple skin beneath. He was young, weak. She didn't need to put up much effort to push him down. Uh, big sis, what are you doing? The sensation of the Xeno woman's touch over his body feels weird on the boy. A biological warning mechanism about heresy ensuing. She nods. I wouldn't like it if you got hurt. Now, would I? She draws her hands away. Sam agrees. Though, it's clear the sensation was still in his mind. Capitalizing upon the open gap, Bellamere then tenderly grabs his hand, wrapping it around her spidery fingers before holding it in her own. Just holding hands like that made Sam burn up. The indecent thoughts about letting the Xeno take care of him broke the floodgates. Now, whilst the boy was confused about his feelings for the Farseer, did the Exarch arrive? Unlike the Farseer, the Exarch took a more controlled approach, like a neighbor. Ah, Bellamere. The red-headed warrior masked her role as an exploiter. I was looking for you. Oh, Tisa! Bellamere stands up, ensuring her grip on Sam. I'm fine. I just ran into this innocent little boy. The boy scent works its way into Tyessa's senses, the same way it does to Bellamere's. 
However, the Benji's mind is not so bound to reading the shrines of fate. Less labyrinthine, making it more easy to realize that she was lusting for an undeveloped organism. The taboo romance arouses her as well, and she joins the two. Sam asks, "Big sis, is she your friend?" The exar kneels to the boy's level. My name is Daisa. If you can trust Bellamy over here, you can trust me as well. The sensation of being between two girls, even aliens, is enough to drive Sam's hormones into overdrive. Knowing that they were worried about him made him feel more conscious than ever. The sweet smell of these elders, as well as the power of suggestion, had drawn him to them, but. Now was the time for him to decide whether or not to follow them. Sam follows, for his mind had finally been snared by the mental depredations of Bellamere. My, you rather precious. The Exar appraises the Farseer's catch. Say, do you want to follow us somewhere? We can help you find your mother. The Farseer finishes the sentence. But first, you have to do something very special with us, okay? Sam replies with a dazed expression. What is it? We want you to kiss which big sister you think is the cutest. At that moment, the collected Exarch smiles as well, and they pull away from the child. We both like cute little boys like you. And we promise to take really good care of you. However, only one of us will give you extra special good care of you. Bellamere smiles, and that one is going to be whichever one of us you kiss. For an instant, the Farsia lets slip her reins on Sam's mind, though she knew her control was absolute. She wants to understand, even for a second. The boy's preferences. After all, this was a game to her, and games were only fun when there was a chance of failure. What baffled them both was that instead of approaching one of them and clumsily placing a kiss on one of their lips, on his tippy toes, Sam ran away before either Eldar could ask what was wrong. They notice the sun going out. They turned around to find it, an orc in a business suit. My name is Chris Orkson. Would you like to have a seat? In that instant, both Eldars realize that this hunt for nubile young boys had gone oh so wrong. <laughs>